Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So today is Sunday and I did post a few days ago using the melanin hair care products, doing a twist out, and a lot of you asked me to do it with a wash and go. So that is what this video is going to be about. So my hair is a week old. I'm gonna go wash it shortly and I'm gonna use all of the same products I used in the first video to do the twist out so we can really see if there is a difference, what's the difference, how does it look. So I'm gonna use, just to run by it really quickly, the Shea Moisture and Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo with Sea Kelp and Argon Oil. I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. And I am, of course, going to deep condition my hair with my favorite, the TGIN, Thank God It's Natural Honey Miracle Hair Mask with raw honey and olive oil. And, of course, I'm going to use my rice water while we deep condition, and I'm definitely going to use my hothead heat cap. So these are exactly the same products I used in the video I posted, like I said, a few days ago, using these same melanin hair care products, but we are going to, are going to, going to do a wash and go. So I am excited to see the results. I have been using this to refresh my hair every day, and I have been really liking it to refresh. Um, and I am getting used to the smell. If you did not see the first video, I will link it down below. Um, but the smell was one thing that was a little bothersome for me because I don't like the smell of shea butter. But I have gotten a little bit more used to it, so it's a lot more tolerable. And I love how it makes my hair look. So like I said, this is a week old hair and I will take it out. All I did today, guys, I just got ready for church. I didn't feel like putting makeup on, but then I tried to do something and it got up ahead of me and I just, I don't know how I ended up with this makeup look after not wanting to wear makeup, but. <laughs> so this is my week old hair. Literally all I did was put it in that little ponytail for church this morning. So this is all of my hair. And I need a trim really bad. That's something I need to do. I normally like to trim my hair myself. Um, I wanted to get a diva cut, but it probably won't be for a while, so I'll probably trim it myself. But it is definitely time for a trim. And I know someone did tell me maybe that's why my hair is getting a little tangly because maybe I need a trim. So I'm going to do that. I just don't have time to do it today. But I did want to record this video for you guys. So again, I thought it would be nice to show you guys what it looked like before I washed. Again, this is seven day old hair. I wash my hair every Sunday. And like I said, it is Sunday, so it is wash day. So I'm going to go ahead and use those products. And I will come back and you will see me applying the products and I will show you the dried results as well. As you see, my hair has a lot of body and fullness um, by the seventh day today, but no, it, normally on first day hair, it's really thin looking, but I don't mind it because I know it's gonna end up looking like this, puffy, full, so I don't mind it. But this is my hair, and like I said, I do have on the Uncle, Uncle Funky's um, Curly Magic, I've been loving that gel, and I've been using it with this melanin hair care, um, and I've really been liking it. And I, I'm not all flaky and everything else. That's my edge control that needs to be washed out. So you can see my hair is dirty. That's that edge control. Looking really nice. So this has been so good to me, refreshing every day. So I'm gonna try it with a wash and go. I did do it with a wash and go, but I did add Uncle Funky's gel on top of it today. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use these two products. So we will see what happens. I will see you guys in a bit. Once I wash my hair out, I'm gonna go, you know, take off my jewelry, get a little bit more comfortable so we could actually get into this hair video. So, hey guys, so we are back. I just finished washing my hair in deep conditioning with all the products I showed you before. So now my hair is bare, like I said, freshly washed, freshly washed, nothing in it. I wanna show you guys, cause I know someone did ask me, they wanted to see what my hair looked like with no product. So this is it here. It is very dry looking, especially my front. I've been telling you guys that it's a little dry, so I'm working on that, that front part. But these are what my curls are looking like. There is really nothing going on. A lot of frizz, dry, so it needs some moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out these products. And like I said, I'm using the same products I used last week. So I'm gonna use this as a leave-in because with the melanin, remember what it tells you to do is use as little or as much as needed and massage styling cream into wet or dry hair one section at a time and style as desired. Use with your favorite leave-in conditioner. 
So the Kinky Curly Knot today is the one that I used last time. Definitely one of my favorites and I'm going to use this one today. So I have that here. I also have my 360 Mister with just some warm water in it to re-wet my hair because as you can see it's drying already and I literally just finished maybe five minutes ago and my hair is already starting to dry. So with these products. So let me show you guys the back first so you guys can see it. So this is everything. So this is what it looks like now. No product, freshly washed, deep conditioned with my favorite, and that's it here. So I'm just gonna section off a little in the back. So like that much. My wash and goes are pretty quick. And I kinda told you guys that I prefer wash and goes because they are quick um, and it's less tugging. So I'm gonna wet my hair first a little bit and I do have a towel on my lap in case this gets really wet, because it might. <laughs> So I'm just gonna smooth the water into my hair and I'm gonna take a little bit of my Kinky Curly Knot today and I only have a little bit left so we're gonna use this sparingly, but a little bit of it, oops. So that's how much I use, very little, because again, I just wanna use these products, I'm just using a little bit of this and a little bit of this goes a long way in my opinion too, plus my hair is super fine so I don't need to use that much. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and let me open everything up. So this is how much I have used. I have been using this, so I am going down on it. It's like down here now, um, because I have been using it every day to refresh my hair. I typically refresh every day. I like my hair to look really shiny and moist. So I do typically just like wet it a little and then put more products on it. So. I've been using this, it's really great. Um, so I put like that much, not much at all if you can see. Um, and then I'm gonna just rub this into my hair. And I'm just doing this whole section in one. So, and I might put a little bit more because I wanna get on the ends. So just that much more. So it is once again, um, going into my hair very, very nicely. This product, I will say that, it, it does go into your hair so nicely. And like I told you guys before, I actually was hating the smell initially, but I got used to it because I've been using it all week. So I'm putting a little bit of the oil, and this is the multi-use oil blend. And I'm sorry guys, I forgot to mention, that is the, what we're using is the Melanin Twist Elongating Style Cream with Shea Butter and Natural Oils. So it's for long lasting definition. There's no sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, formaldehydes, or phthalates. So this is what I am using today from the Melanin Hair Care from my girl, Natural85. I love her. Like I said in my other video, I've been following her prior to starting my channel. And I just really love her and I wanted to support her. So I definitely had to get it. Um, I, this product here was $16.99. I'll put it on the side just in case. But the elongating style cream was $16.99. The oil blend was $17.99. So together they were $34.98. Plus they charged $10 shipping. So it all came to $44.98. But I've been getting a lot of uses out of these products. So I do find it to be well worth it. And like I said, so this is what it looks like. So it is really nice and moist. It does look really nice. You can see the curls, like very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, not many things I can use every single day for seven days and then not cause buildup on my hair or get like flaky by the end of the week. And this was one of those products that did not do that at all. So I definitely love that about these products. She was right, they are super buildable. So that's like amazing. And then I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna go a little heavy with this because I want to make sure I put enough because I'm not putting a gel. Um, if you guys know, you know I love to put me a gel, y'all. I like my hair to have a crunch. Not everybody likes that, but I do. I need it to last a week. Even though I refresh every day, I find that I need a gel. My hair is super soft, so it won't stay if I don't put a gel. So I like to put a gel in my hair. So, but we're not doing that today. I'll probably show you, but tomorrow I probably will pull the gel because I wake up tomorrow morning, it's gonna be really super soft 
and I live in South Florida. It's humid. Okay, guys, so we need some help. We need some help, and I do try to scrunch the ends a little bit too, but we need some help but to keep our hair from getting frizzy. Like, it's hot. It's like, it feels like 100 degrees over here. So I'm going to do this last part on camera, and then I'm probably going to speed this up and stop talking. But I do love these products. They are working so well. And I just love how buildable they are. Like, I can't stress how buildable they are. And like I said, the smell isn't bothering me as much because I'm so used to it. It's really nice. Really nice. So I'm doing them in big sections. This is why I love wash and goes. If you saw me before do the other video, like I said, it's linked below. But it took me quite some time to do that one because I had to twist and I had to do all that. This is just so simple. Easy, go, and be done. So I'm putting about that much, same as I think I put on the other side. And make sure you get those little edges because I need some love and some moisture in the end. And I'm kind of scrunching as well. And I'm going to add some oil. You can see it's just maybe about 10, 15 drops, I would say. And make sure I get those ends. Scrunch it. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So it is currently 6.11. So I am hoping that, my hair, like I said, dries really fast. I mean, that's the one good thing I will say about having fine, thin hair, I guess. It does dry super fast. So, um, hopefully, I'm, I'm working at my second job tomorrow, so I might be up a little late tonight since I don't have to be up at five. So I'll probably come back tonight and show you guys what it looks like. So this is the last section of hair. If you can see how dry my hair looks, let me, it is really dry. You can see it compared to this side that has the product on it, but this is really dry. It needs some love. So we're gonna work on this side. So I'm gonna wet it with, like I said, just water. I'm gonna put my, the Kinky Curly Not Today, and I'm gonna be a little more heavy handed with this. So I put about that much. A little bit more because like I said the front is dry need some more love now I'm gonna put about this much so it's a it's a decent amount it's definitely a lot but I need this part to be really moisturized So this is what it is looking like. This is wet, of course, but it looks so nice. You guys see what I mean? These products are really, really nice. I definitely love it for a wash and go. Um, but like I said, for me, I normally like to add a gel, but it's so pretty. Let me turn around so you guys can see it. I'm gonna put it all the way to the back. Okay, so this is it here, all the way in the back. A little turn around so this is a front of it and you can see you can see still see some white because I did put a lot but I want to put a lot because I need moisture there so it is looking really pretty let me turn to the other side so you guys can see so that is what it looks like I definitely love these for a wash and go. Um, like I said before, I've also gotten used to the smell. I still don't like it, but it's not as bad. It's tolerable. Um, and maybe the other products are helping because I did use, of course, the oil and the Kiki Curly Not Today. So those are probably helping, but it looks so good. Okay, so it's now 619. Of course, when I told you the time a little bit ago, I had already started. So maybe I started at, we could say six o'clock to be fair. So it took me about 19 minutes. It's all done. Um, all I'm gonna do is let it air dry and then I'll come back and show you guys the results But this is it right here, and I absolutely love it guys Hey guys, so I am back. This is the final results. I must say I love it It does have actually a little bit of a hole to it 
but I love it. It looks really good. My curls are super defined. They look shiny and I did not use a gel, so I am very impressed. Um, looks really, really good. You saw this part was dry. It's not anymore. Guys, I did also want to mention the previous part of the video, that middle section. Unfortunately, the lighting was all messed up. I'm so sorry, but I really wanted you guys to get the whole look. I didn't want to I mean, it came out looking really nice today. This is the first time I tried it for a wash and go, so I wanted you to get the raw uncut. So I didn't want to go back and record on it another day. So I'm sorry for the bad quality in the middle, like the color saturation is off. This one might be too, it went from daytime to night. <laughs> um, so the color kind of changed, but I'm sorry. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. This is the hair, the final result. I'm loving this melanin hair care. It is amazing. It has my hair looking very nice and healthy, very moisturized, very defined. And the smell is no longer an issue for me. I've gotten used to it, so it's gotten better. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun, like I normally do to go to sleep because it's now 8.40, so it took about two, I believe it was about two hours for my hair to dry. Um, it probably was dry before, but I just, yeah, I was just waiting. So I was actually trying to edit and figure out that middle section of the video to get the color right. So that's what it was, guys. But it's all done now, so I'm gonna just flip it over. And what I normally do is just take all my hair into a pineapple type situation in the front. So look at my defined curls. I need to cut, I need to cut. If I had a scissors, I would cut that off right now. That's how I am though. If I see some, a little straight piece, I'm cutting it off. But I don't have a scissors in front of me, so. I just take my little satin bot scrunchie, put it up like that, put on my satin and scarf, and I put it on, and I go to sleep. I wake up, shake it out, do my edges. I might refresh if it needs to. Put maybe a little, like I said, the Uncle Funky's, the jelly to give it like a little more stiffness if it needs it, if it softens up throughout the night, which does sometimes happen. But I am loving the results. This is amazing. Like I said, I have used this with the gel, and it's great. I use it like almost every day to refresh. Last week, it was amazing. No buildup, no flakes, just amazing. This is a really great products. Really great products. I am really here for it, really loving it. I actually love the wash and go results. I'm very impressed. Normally, you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I use like five products, and I didn't. I just use the leave-in and the two melanin products, and my hair looks really nice. So I'm very happy, very satisfied. I would definitely recommend these. Like I said, the both of them was $44.98, well worth it. I've used this a good 10, 12 times, and it's probably about here if I was to smooth it out. So it's probably here or so. So I'm getting a lot of uses out of here. Like I said, I use it quite often. The smell doesn't smell bad in here. Um, like I said, on application, it does smell a little bit stronger, but I've gotten used to it. I did not like it initially, but I'm used to it. These products are so great, um, so I'm loving it. Good job, Natural85. Love you, girl. You did awesome. So proud of you. And you killed it with these products. So thank you, thank you, thank you. As natural girls, we thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and get ready for bed because it's super late. And I will see you guys very soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.